What's up guys, it's AJ Markle here. Welcome to episode number 7 of MVP Baseball 2005 Classic Stadiums! Today, I am playing as the Houston Astros against the Cincinnati Reds. We are playing at Crosley Field. Crosley Field was the previous home to the Reds from 1912 to 1970. And then they moved to Riverfront Stadium before they moved to Great American Ballpark. So, in this... Again, we're using retro jerseys. These are the 1962 Houston Colt 45s. That was their old names. And we had the Reds still wearing their 1970 jerseys this time. And this will be interesting. Now, when it comes to any older jerseys, I think sit past 7, 1975, like older 1975, they don't wear gloves. So that's something to point out. And that's Crabigio, the second baseman. He popped up to second baseman, I believe, D'Angelo Jimenez. There's Adam Everett. Adam Everett was the shortstop for the Astros back in the day. Oh, whoa. That was a good changeup right there. Just low in the zone. So it's 0-1 on him. Oh, pfft. Okay, Russ Ortiz is going to be a little bit tough for me. So we got 0-2 to pitch. Filed off to the right, and there's a free souvenir for the fans. And never mind, it just missed the... Uh, Seats, so that's uh, 0 and 2 now again. And caught looking, strike three, he should have swung. Here's Jeff Bagwell nearing the, the twilight of his career because of injuries. And he hits a lope in the right center field. That is an easy out. This is Ken Griffey Jr. And look who's on the mound the Rocket, Roger Clemens. He would play a few more years, like from but then before finishing up his last season in 2007 with the <gasps> New York Yankees. The Yankees were Clemens' team from 1999 to 2003. But then he said he would retire. Then he unretired and played for the Houston Astros along with Andy Pettit. And the Astros would have playoff appearances and a World Series appearance in 2005. They would lose, though, to the Chicago White Sox. And Clemens... In his first start since since last World Series back in 2003 got hurt. So, yeah. There's a, that's a pop behind. There's Brad Osmus, future manager, makes the easy catch. And now we have Lance Berkman, Morgan Ensberg, and Jason Lane. I like the 45 helmets. You know, they're pretty dope. Comment below you think to use Nash to bring those jerseys back. But, probably with gloves. Fly to right field. That ball is just short of the wall. Birdman's not a fast runner. They're going to try to throw a second. And they will not be able to get to second baseman on time. So, a leadoff double for Lance Berkman. Lance Berkman will be part of 2005 Astros. Whoa. Ah, that's foul. Just foul. Whoa. Like the, yeah, he will be part of the Astros 2005 World Series team. He will be part of the the 2011 Cardinals World Series team. Sadly, though, he never won with Houston, but he did win with St. Louis. The only thing that's sad, he beat my Rangers to do it. <laughs> that's one of the reasons I don't like the Cardinals that much. They beat my Rangers. And Cruz's miscatch still haunts me to this day. Speaking of which, the Rangers are currently struggling to make a spot in the playoffs, and that's another foul ball to make it 0-2. And the AL West is currently as the Astros leading and the Rangers in second place. That's a swing and a miss there by Lane. Here's Jose Vescanino. Old Rangers win. Here, Jose Vescanino, also a former Yankee. He actually was part of the 2000 Yankees team, World Series team. Unfortunately, though, though for um, Yankee fans, it didn't stay long. I don't think. There's a. Oh, Griffey, it's a fly to left field. Biggio won't get there. I'll uh, be careful, Griffey. He may be getting old in this time, but he's still a fast runner. So Biggio, who played left field, that's a little shocking. He also says he usually played second base for some people and in his last years of career. But he also started his career as a catcher. I actually have a baseball card of Crab Biggio. Probably should, maybe should go to the Hall of Fame. I should probably make a I used to collect baseball cards. That's right. I used to collect baseball cards. I probably... Might reveal that collection in the future. I don't know. But I'll be honest. I stopped collecting cards because I don't has have a passion for them anymore. And there's so many cards out there for baseball cards. They lose their value. 
There's a, that's a, oh, Ensber dropped it. Okay. But the good thing is they'll prevent extra races. So that we got runners on the corners with one out. Go ahead, Clemens, start off. There's a ground ball, Ensberg to second. Uh, double play! We get out of the inning. So, the Astros get, we get charged with an error. That's nice. There's Brett Osmus. He, he wasn't exactly the, the gayest hitter catcher in the world, but he did make up for it with his key. Oh, it helped the second base bat. That's a rare one. That's a base hit. A base hit right up the middle. Here's Roger Clemens. Not a power hitter. He, he's not exactly the best hitter in the world. But he does make up for him when he, for his pitching. That was outside. If he didn't swing, it would have been a ball. Russ Ortiz has not been making it easy for us. There's a ground ball. It's a hit up, hit the. Ah, that was. He hesitated because he thought it was gonna get caught. I understand that. Biggio. Okay. <laughs> that was so hard. It probably turned on someone's AC up over here in Texas. It gets still hot over here, by the way. Despite fall coming pretty fast, it's still in the mid to late 90s. It's still decently hot. But the good news is we haven't seen a triple digits. Dick gum it, those corners. I promise you, those corners are killing me. Okay, let's, let's try to calm down. There's a pop. Esber, don't drop it. Don't you drop it. Don't you drop it. That's an easy catch for the first out. Now there's Russ Ortiz, another not so powerful hitter. If he gets a hit, I'm going to be triggered. And that's a swoosh. Watch me whip it. Watch me watch it. Miss it. Watch me whip it. Whip it. Watch it. Miss, 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 miss. Okay, that's a grounder. And out. Same, almost similar to Roger Clubs. Oh, it was he hit the shortstop. Nah. Second base. Uh oh. That I don't like that. Oh, that ball's the right side. Bagwell. He will not get there. That's foul. Ooh. Foul away. So we got 0 1 on D'Angelo Jimenez. That he hits uh, a foul ball. It hit the ground for, before it uh, before it uh got did the air. Line drive caught by Bagwell. That's an out. Three up, three down. There's Everett leading off. 0 for one strikeout victim. Let's see if he can avoid that this time around, and he does. But it's a pop out to the left side. Okay, that is an out. Easy out. Here's Bagwell. 0 for 1. He might be able to show some pop in his back because he is known for a pop hitter. There's a ground ball. Pfft. Sean Casey was like, easy peasy, rice and cheesy. Easy out. All right, Lance. You hit a double last time, but you, we failed to score you. Let's see if you can do more than that. Ah, uh, he checked sway, but he hit the ball, so that's a foul ball. It was outside. Dang. Should never have swung at that. 0 and 1. And that's a decent hit, but it's in the center field, and Ken Griffey Jr. is like, freebie! That's an easy out. And now we are going to the bottom of the inning. So Felipe Lopez is obviously a decent shortstop. I think he's short no, yeah, he's shortstop. And he, and I think it, I find it kind of rare in some cases, some cases, to see a right hand, well, throwing shortstop, but uh, left-handed hitter. But then again, I have to remember the Rangers have Corey Seager, so I can't really say that. I just think it's kind of cool. You throw, it's like you throw right, but you bat left. It's kind of similar with Jim Tomey. He was the first baseman that threw right-handed and bat left-handed. Same with Hank Blaylock. He played third base, threw right, bat left. You guys get, that's basically, you can, Ensberg, got it. Oh, what the hey? Come on. Why is it always the grippy that you guys seem to mess up? Goodness. Why? Ensberg, that's the second error. Do I need to sub, sub you out sometime in the game or something? Because I can't afford to give up errors. What in the world was that? Okay, we got 0-1. Let's try this again. Swing at a bitch. 0-2. Get it where it hurts. Get it where it hurts. Right here. Two-seam fastball. Ground it. And out. That's the third out. And now we have Ensbury again. Dude, if he doesn't get a hit this... If he doesn't get another hit, I'm going to probably get him, sub him. Pfft, that was an ugly swing right there. I like that little Texas fly they have on those jerseys. It's on the left sleeve, if you guys could see. That's a ground ball. Oh, that's a good... 
that's a good law throw up with third baseman Randa, and that's an out. Okay, I think he's gonna be out of the game by the sign this is over. Oh, that's Lance in the left center field. That's deep and not deep enough. Two outs. And here is Vescanino. Come on, man. Let's get you an opportunity to get a big hit here or something. Ground ball, base hit, up single. Good job. We got two out single. Our third hit of the game. That shows that our hitting isn't that good today. And here's Osimus. We're going to have this going to probably steal or something to get a hit and run or something. That's, oh my goodness, right at his glove. Okay. Yep, two errors. Muy Pena is up, and I got to be careful with him. He is a power hitter. He's got a lot of pop in his bat. So that's one reading I don't want to mess with. The reason, however, I don't think he made it, as I said in the last episode, he strikes out a lot, too. That's another reason that he does hasn't made it. That sometimes is hard. You can try so hard to hit home runs that you fail to that you fail to get a big hit when you need to. And sometimes a lot of players strike out, and they still are valuable to the team somehow, but not that valuable. Take Joey Gallo. He was on the Rangers, the Yankees, the Dodgers, now the Twins. The problem is, though... Joey Gallo is a powerful hitter, but he strikes out a lot. Like, really bad. Like, you could give him, like, a 95 con gun not contact, 95 power, but, like, a 70 contact or something. Maybe 69 if he's he's regressing a bit. Line drive. Caught by Bagwell! Okay. Clemens, B.J. Everett. All right, Clemens. He's leading off, so... I can't really expect too much from Clemens. Oh, that's a good swing right there. Oh, man, that's way up there, but that's caught by Pena. Easy out. And now we got Biggio. Come on, Biggio. Show us your Hall of Fame bat. There we go. Left field. Stay fair, 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 fair. Dang it! If that was fair, that would have been a home run, and it hit a car. I'm not paying for that. Okay, 0-1. Ah, swung late because it went to the right field. Darn it. All right, Everett. Come on. Over for 2. Let's do some damage here. Pitch. Wide drive. Randa makes the catch. That's the third out. We're in the bottom of the sixth. And still, we are not getting any run support. This is seriously a pitcher's duo. This is like the pitcher duel at Crosley Field. Yikes. Pop to left. Biggio. Oh, yeah. Makes the catch. Probably was unnecessary, but he got it. There's Jimenez again. Jimenez. Can you have Jimenez on that? I, that was bad. I'm sorry. That's an easy out right there. That's two outs. Good throw by Berkman, though. And there's Lopez. Over two. Strikeout victim. Throw some speed. Fouled off. So we're going to analyze his, his strikes his last few appearances he struck out on the inside part of the play and he flew on the inside part of the play so let's try to get something a little outside since i've thrown inside of him pretty much on the game never mind that was bad move that's the third out we're going to the next inning the seventh inning seventh inning bagwell has a chance to lead off for us real quick okay that was not a pitch we should have swung at but but at least i can still count on him to get like a hit or something maybe over someone's head or right to the first baseman. Okay. That hurt right there. So, Bertman is up. Just, come on, Brian. There's a ground ball. Oh, that's uh, Lopez. Let's throw. Got him. Easy out. Two outs. All right. Ensberg, nope. You're done. You're, you are done. We're going to put in Mike Lamb in there. Mike Lamb is the was new third baseman. He was a designated hitter sometimes for Houston. See what we can do here. Whoa. That was a good cut. He just swung a little bit late. It was just on the low part of the zone, a fastball. 0-1. Pitch, and he takes it upstairs and away for a 1-1. For a one one. Come on, Lamb, do some damage. Oh, that's a good pop, but not enough. Out. That's the third out. At least Mike Lamb is our new third baseman, and he probably won't make the errors that Ensberg had made earlier in the game. That... Two errors, he deserved to get benched. He wasn't helping the team that w that well, so kind of deserved to get benched. 0-1, popped it up. Everett is going to have to get underneath this one, and that would be an out. Easy catch. And now there's someone in the bullpen, Joe Valentine. Okay, so uh, that's weird. Your guy is throwing a shutout, but you're already getting a guy in the bullpen. 
Okay, I guess they're anticipating the Astros making an upsurge or something? I don't know. Anyway, King Griffey Jr. is up. And the last episode, I talked about his father. His father, Ken Griffey Sr., who played for the Reds. Sadly, though, he did play for the Yankees. And, and quote, the Yankees did not treat him well. Look at those guys. They're like, yeah, he's got that. He's got the heat. He's the Rocket for a reason. Roger Cohen has been nickname. He's over two, but I got to be careful with Dunn. He can knock a ball to the moon if I'm not careful. He's hitting balls 500 feet in real life. Don't mess with Adam Dunn, people. And now we got 0-2. So we got 0-2 on him. And looks like we're going to try to do something like a little splitter. Fouled off. He swung a little early on that. He was anticipating that splitter. So we, so as a result, he swung a little bit early. Swing and a miss. He is done. Swing and a miss. The Rocket throws the changeup. All right, Jason Lane is up. He is playing right field, but he's 0 for 2. And there's the pitch. High fly left field. Way back. It is off the wall. Dunn is, does not exactly a fast fielder, but we're going to try to beat that. And he gets a double to start off. And now here's Viscanino. He was 1 for 2. He hit a single last time. Let's see if he can do it again. And that's a pop-up into center field. Griffey's underneath that one. We are not testing his arm. One hop. Boom, he would have gotten me by a mile. Here is Osmus. One for two as well. Let's see if he could do... Oh, they walked him. All right, it's Roger Clemens. Okay, they're going to play that way, huh? Bunt. Okay, that was bad. All right, so we're going to try and... R runners, go. Ah, okay. Roger Clemens is a horrible bunter. Noted. 0-2 on Clemens. Fouled off. He's staying alive. He's just barely staying alive on that one. It was on the inside corner, so it would have been a strike three if he didn't swing the bat. And he swung the bat anyway, and he strikes out. All right, Biggio. Come on, man. Get a big hit here. Up. Ooh. Good thing there's a big backstop and no net. Apparently, I've forgotten that classic stadiums don't have the nets. Unless it's like the Astrodome or something. That's one and one. One ball, one strike. And there's the pitch. Oh, pff, I shouldn't have swung at that. Oh, man. He got under over it. One ball, two strikes. Come on, Biggio. Rally time for us. Ground ball. Oh, it's off his glove. And out. Dang it. That is the third out. So we are in the bottom of the eighth. We got a chance in the ninth to do something, but it's so far, no one's scored. No one's gotten any big hits that score to run we had chance multiple times but we have failed and as a result we have not done as successful and the reds got two guys in the bullpen valentine and graves and randa is up he is not someone to mess with i learned that the hard way left field biggio's running running caught great catch by biggio and that's the second out of the inning and here is larue jason larue swing and a miss that's an all one I want no strikes to start off, so here is the pitch. That's a line drive. Escanino makes the catch. We got Everett back with Berkman, and here comes the manager. They're going to sit, put in a new pitcher. And the first pitch is a bloop in the center. Griffey will make the easy catch for the first out. All right, Bagwell is 0 for 3 right now. TV could to change that right now. High fly! Deep left field! See you later! Jeff Bagwell breaks the shutout! And the Astros take a one nothing lead! Way to go, Jeff Bagwell! That is the first run of the game on a home run. And that was not what Reds fans wanted. Merman hit a double in the first time. Hasn't got a hit since. Takes a ball outside. So it's one nothing Houston now. One ball and no strikes. And that's foul ball off the catchers. That's why he has the the catcher's bit pitch. Live drive. Base hit for Birdman. His second hit of the game. That is that is the muscle we need. And great. And now Valentin is still pitching. It was off Graves. Lamb 0 for 1. He replaced Morgan Eris Ensberg. Grounded and... That's an easy out right there. 
double play. So, the Reds only give up one run. Looks like that might be all we need, but we're gonna stop, but for safety, I'm gonna warm up one of my, my closer now. And Ka Brad Lynch is gonna be our closer right now, because Otel is now with Oakland. There's a grounder, Lamb. Make the throw, it's gonna be close. And he was too high, darn. Okay, Lamb almost in Innsburg, great. So they got, uh-oh, they're bunting. And that's foul ball, hit off the batter. So that's a, so that will be a 0-1. Since he's gonna bunt, we're gonna do something like this. Up, ah, oh, I think it was in the, in the air. So we got, so we have a two strike approach coming. The pitch, swing and a miss. Clemens still got it, swoosh. Then he got one out here, runner on first though. That's the tying run. So there's a ground ball and Lamb did not hustle and that's a base hit. And now they got the winning run on first and the tying run on second. And Sean Casey is up. One swing could end it real quick. Or not, center field, Berkman underneath this one. And that's gonna be a, thr that's gonna be a long throwback and they're down to their last out with Ken Griffey Jr. at the plate. He got on on error. He struck out. This is our time to stop it. This is the left center field. Everett underneath this one. And that is the game. We, sh we shut down the Reds on a one nothing game at Crosby Field. Astros take the win. Clemens gets a complete game shutout. And the Reds, despite our get two errors, did not score. What a game. That was very close, too. Pitcher's duel. But... As you guys know, the Rocket wins. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. God bless you, Rock. Don't forget it.